In the 17th century, the region was a dangerous place to be. The Portuguese and Dutch were at odds, both vying for control of the spice trade. Years before, the Dutch had seized the Portuguese merchant vessel, the Santa Catarina, off the coast of modern-day Changi. They pocketed a staggering sum of money, three million Dutch guilders. Many found themselves caught up in the power struggle, including Jacques de Coutte, a successful Flemish gem trader who had spent years traveling through Siam, Burma and the Philippines. He wrote an autobiography and series of memorials documenting his time in Southeast Asia. However, though he was allied to the Spanish-Portuguese crown, he was suspected of selling information to the Dutch. Arrested, he was sent to Lisbon for trial. Desperate to convince the king of his loyalty, Coote suggested that the king should acquire a place called Singapore. He suggested that at least two fortresses or a castle could be built on the island, equipped with good artillery, one near Fort Siloso and a second on the east coast. This would ensure the safety of merchant ships sailing through the Straits of Singapore and an episode like the seizure of the Santa Catarina would not recur. He also mentioned that the tip of the island was already a natural fortress made of stone, and moreover, the island had excellent fresh water. But Coote's advice was ignored. Through the centuries, Singapore has been caught in the middle of various power struggles between different countries. Many made plans for this small island because of its strategic location. None of these imperial plans came to fruition till the British landed here in 1819. We might easily have been a Portuguese or Spanish colony instead of a British one if history had taken a different trajectory.